back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about top 10 ways to improve your logical thinking skills in programming. First, a good news for you. Good that these skills can be taught, can be learned and can be improved over a period of time. Which means if you're trying to look at ways to improve your thinking, improve your way of thinking in terms of solving skills in programming, good news is that you can learn it. Let's take a look at those 10 ways to improve the skills. Before we look into the skills, I would like to give a big shout out to our friends at apilayer.com. API Layer provides us with hassle-free API marketplace. What is a marketplace? It provides us all the APIs which are reliable, stable and trustworthy all at one place. So these are the pre-vetted APIs which can boost our application's capabilities without worrying about scalability or stability. To learn more about it, go to apilayer.com, go to API Marketplace. I'm sure there are APIs that you would want to use in your application right away. Some of my favorite ones are the number phone number verification. This is an extremely important one that you often need in your application. You need the email verification and much, much more. So go ahead, explore these APIs and use them in your applications. Now back to learning logical thinking. Before we learn and look at the ways to improve our logical thinking, let's first come to a common understanding of what exactly is logical thinking. Logical thinking is a way of analyzing thinking and our sensible approach to solve a given problem, right? That is what we call it as logical thinking. Now you, you need this on a day to day basis at work. When you are given with a problem statement, how do you approach that problem? How do you come up with a solution? How do you logically analyze it? How do you break it down? Those are the things that form your logical thinking. Now let's look at the 10 ways. The first and the foremost, you will get better only by writing lots of code. To learn programming, to get better at programming, to get better at logical thinking, you need to write lots of code. That's the only way. It's There is no magic wand which can make you a better developer overnight. Anybody who tells you otherwise is lying to you. It takes time, effort and pure hard work. All right. So I'm sure and I understand that all of you are ready to make that effort and put in the hard work. This next one is reading the code. The next best thing after writing code is reading code. This is to see how others have implemented certain thing or how others have solved a particular problem in a certain way. You would learn their approach. You would see the code. You would see and learn how to write different patterns and much, much more. So number two, step number two is to read the code. Now, the third one, see, programming is all about data structures and algorithms. So data structures are the fundamental of any programming languages. So you have to learn it. And how do you learn it? By practicing. You don't have to take a book and sit on a six months course to learn. No, the ideal way to learn is pick up a data structure, try to use it in your existing application if applicable. That's the best way to learn data structures. Some of the common things that you can start with are searching, sorting, binary tree, lists, and much more. The fourth one is to, this is a, this is a divide and conquer kind of a solution, which is whenever you are given a problem, always try to break it down into smaller chunks, right? Smaller use cases that those are easy to solve. Those are easy to fix. Those are easy to go about. If you, let's say a problem, you can break it down into five chunks. You solve one by one and you build confidence that the entire problem can be solved. So remember, how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece, right? You cannot eat an elephant in one go. You have to eat it piece by piece. That means divide the problem into smaller chunks and attack it one step at a time. The next one. This is very, very important. And this is something that I've seen a lot of junior devs in my team do this uh, problem, which is they don't think of the negative scenarios. For example, 
if you are if I ask you to build a login screen you will say enter username and password that's it but what about the negative use cases like what if the user enters incorrect email address what if he enters a lengthy email address what if he doesn't enter any email address and so on and so forth right so these are all the negative use cases that you need to start thinking when you are solving a problem and that will make you a better developer that will give you better logical thinking that oh these are the use cases how do I go about what can potentially go wrong start with that question right and then try to answer those questions and you would see that your application is much more stable less bugs the next one is something that I hate to say but I have to say it which is I want every one of you each one of you to be confident to be fearless why I say this because a lot of times when somebody tells us a problem our mind immediately starts thinking it's a complex one it's a trouble it's too big I cannot solve it and those negative mindset being confident and fearless makes makes you think of out-of-box solutions to be creative whenever you say that no I am going after this particular problem then you would start going after looking solutions so again keep it in mind whenever a task is given whenever you come across a problem the first thing to say is let's analyze that's how your brain will work always tell your mind okay I got this I can solve it second let's first take a moment to analyze it properly what is the input what is the expected output and then finally break it down into smaller chunks which we have seen earlier now this is something that I encourage my team members I encourage myself to do it which is to make mistakes in my videos if you see I do make mistakes mistakes are human right which means only humans make mistakes and we can correct them that means the only way to learn is by making mistakes if you see if you run into errors you will know what that error means why that error came so go ahead make mistakes it's okay as long as you're not breaking the whole world which I don't think you are so go ahead make mistakes important thing is learn from those mistakes now the next one is something that a lot of people shy away at workplace in the teams which is why are we hesitant to reach out for help from our peers from our seniors or our team members reach out to them ask them if they can do pair programming with you ask them if they can just guide you or give you a lead in a right direction I'm not saying get spoon feeded no I'm only asking you to get a lead or get a direction or just get it reviewed your logical thinking that way your seniors who are more experienced I believe would be able to guide you better there are team members in your team who are much more senior in terms of understanding of the project or the product go to them with a pseudo code approach and say hey this is my logical thinking am I right can you check it can you validate it and that's the be best way to increase your logical thinking the next one is something that even I go through I'm sure everybody who is in IT would go through this which is we all see dark days right we all have bad days we all go through some of these days when things are not going well things are not at work things are not well at house etc right we feel like giving up but don't do that stay there just stay there don't do anything just be motivated for the fact that why are you doing it so for some it can be family for some it can be financial goals for some it can be material goals that's totally perfectly fine you want to buy a new Apple watch go for it you want to buy a new car go for it that's your motivation so having your mental ability to stay positive is one of the key things to improve logical thinking on bad days you will get into negative mindset try to control yourself I'm not saying don't be negative mindset we all are humans we will have that but try to stay positive take a break talk to someone who can make you feel better and then come back to the problem the last one that I encourage every single one in my team and which has really personally helped me grow in my career is I always commit to take the most complex task if there are five tasks on the board and if I am given an option I will always pick the toughest and the complex one why do I do it 
because that way I am publicly committing myself to solve it. I cannot let myself down. The second thing, when you take the complex one, that gives you opportunity to learn. That gives you opportunity to grow. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. There will be a lot of headache. There will be a lot of challenges. But the end result will be so rewarding that you would thank me and moreover thank yourself. So next time, whenever you're given an option between an easy task and a tough task, always take the tough and the complex task first. All right, so I'm giving you a bonus uh, trip to increase your logical thinking, which is try to master the common building blocks in programming, okay? Uh, some of the common logical building blocks are classes, objects, arrays, strings, promises, async, await, um, HTTP requests, services, and so on. So these are the common building blocks and try to solve some of the logical questions that are often available or asked in interviews. I have published a book on it, which is available at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Take a look at that book. I'm sure you can benefit from it by improving your skills. Thank you so much for joining. Do for, don't forget to check out the ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you again for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.